Statement of Cash Flows Problem 2. Peach Corp. is preparing its Statement of Cash Flows using the indirect method. Refer to these items. Plan Assets, Net Beginning Balance, $111,000. Plan Assets, Net Ending Balance, $146,000. Equipment purchased for $64,000 cash. Equipment with a net asset value of $12,000 was sold for $20,000. Depreciation expense of $16,000 was recorded during the year. What is the net cash provided by, used for, investing activities? Statement of cash flow problems can always be very daunting because there's a lot to focus on and calculate, a lot of information. This one's not too bad. The important thing to do is always see what the question's asking. It's just asking for the net cash flow provided by investing activities. So we're given this information. We need to go through and determine how this information affects the investment activities or investing activities on a statement of cash flow if the company is using the indirect method. Let's just go through each item. So plan assets, net beginning balance are $111,000. Plan assets, net ending balance, $146,000. Does that affect the statement of cash flows? Well, it doesn't do so directly because there might be, you could have recorded those those events either on cash or on account or through a notes payable or a liability. It, it may or may not. Really, the idea here is we care more about other information. So the equipment purchased for $64,000 cash, that amount is key. So what I'm trying to say is that the, the beginning and ending balances, those are still important because that $64,000 equipment change for cash and the disposal we're going to see later on, both of those things, they go into that beginning and ending balance, the effect or the, the change of the, of the from beginning to ending balance. But the idea is that you could be borrowing money or you could be paying for it with, it, with cash. And the statement of cash flow is all about, hey, your cash flow during the year, did it go up, did it go down? What, what, what all is going on? So for investing activities, we are purchasing and disposing of property plan equipment. That's the main thing that we're focusing on. So the first two items, the, the plan asset beginning and ending balance, we can pretty much just ignore those. Again, yes, the investing activities do focus on the on those items, but the way that's presented doesn't doesn't help us. Does not help us at all. So those items I put X's there. The star, which I can put a check mark, check mark might help you. Equipment purchased for sixty four thousand dollars cash, that does go under investing activities. So our investing activities, we're gonna go ahead and, and write this out. Investing activities, the cash payment. So the company has paid to purchase the equipment for $64,000. Think about the statement of cash flows. Cash goes up when the company receives cash. Cash goes down when the company pays cash. Inflow, outflow. This is a payment, cash payment for equipment. That means that the cash is going to go down by that amount. So we have $64,000 decrease or cash outflow. We're done with that one. Next, equipment with a net asset value of $12,000 was sold for $20,000. So this one will affect the statement of cash flow investing activities. This one definitely will. The key question though is, do we use the net asset value or do we use the amount it was sold for? Well, the key is, how much cash did you get? They got $20,000 cash. So cash received from sale or from disposal, that's an increase, right? That's an inflow coming in of $20,000. Now, you might be wondering, well, then why don't we care about that $12,000 net asset value? Just like the plant asset beginning and ending balance, we do care about it, but we do so indirectly. How? We use the $20,000 it was sold for. And then remember, under operating activities, we would record the gain or loss on the transaction. See how that works? So the idea here is if we sell something on the books for $12,000 for $20,000, we have an $8,000 gain. We're going to put $20,000 of cash that we receive on the investing activities. And then on the operating activities, we're going to put the gain because it's an $8,000 gain, which is the difference, we're going to put that $8,000 gain on operating activities. And if you remember, and go back to the previous cash flow problem I did, we did operating activities. 
gains have an inverse relationship, which means the $8,000 gain in operating activities is going to be a decrease. So 20,000, which is positive here because it's a cash we're receiving, minus $8,000 is 12,000. Look at that. We actually record $12,000, the net amount, but we do it on two different sides. We do it on the investing side and the operating side. So here we're asked about investing activities. So all we care about in investing activities is the $20,000 of cash that we receive. Because remember, cash received is what is key that we focus on. Yeah, we still do the gains and losses, but cash that we receive is $20,000. And then the next item, depreciation expense of $16,000 was recorded during year. Does depreciation expense, does that go on the same of cash flows at all? Yes. Does it go on investing activities? No. It doesn't, which means it does not go here. So that means that the only two transactions that do affect our investing activities are the equipment purchase for $64,000 and the equipment sale for $20,000. We can go ahead and calculate the investing activities, which the net, the net cash from investing activities, if we calculate these two numbers together, we're going to get a net amount of negative 44,000 or a cash outflow of 40 of 44,000. Now, before I conclude the problem, that depreciation expense, which we did not record here, where did that go? Depreciation expense gets recorded as an increase to cash on operating activities. So always remember that we're doing the investing activities in this problem, but always keep in mind how these things affect the other sides of the statement of cash flows or other sections of the statement of cash flows like operating activities.